Welcome back to Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Fred. And this is Ginger. <laughs> um, for once, yes. this is a Steampunk Tuesday project. I have got absolutely no idea what you're going to do. I can see the bits, but I've got no clue what you're going to create. Weck. Well, let's get cracking and do it then. So I wasn't kidding when I said um, I've seen you gather all these bits and pieces but I've actually got no idea what it is that you're going to create today apart from obviously you're going to use one of these fantastic etc tags. I am this is one of the three small ones. Okay because these small. Are, these, well I know <laughs> um, but you should see the big ones. Oh yeah. Ten inches by five and a half so it's quite a good size. It, yeah. I always don't be dirty. <laughs> I always thought these were MDF. No, they're not. It's they're like cardboard. It's it's actually compressed and pressed recycled craft card. Oh right. Or paper, if you like. They're yeah. pressed board that's been laser cut. Um, not MDF. Okay, so my, the base is this small small tag. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all relevant, I suppose. I've got the best some of the best. <laughs> The best Relative. crockery out. Relative. Yes. <laughs> Relevant. Relevant. Okay. So I've got, and I'm going to paint around the edges first with... You've got my, my enamel pie dish. Oh, well, I've been using this for ages. I know, I know. And I'm using Reeves acrylic copper. It's lovely paint, is this. Very, very, very nice paint. Yeah, we've tried other um, copper paints, but this is your preferred one, isn't it? It's a yeah. lovely... Really lovely I've, sheen. I bought one, I'll just paint the edges while I'm talking to you. Okay. I once bought a paint from eBay, other stores are available, and it was like, it looked great in the in the bottle, mm. and when I opened the bottle and put it out, when you painted it, it disappeared. So I, well, so it, Hardly any pigment. In hardly it. any pigment, so I thought, well, I don't know what's wrong with it, and I read it, and it said, it was for, it was for craft, craft. so I, I sent a message back, and I said, it's not really good for anything at all. And I got a message back from them saying, it's meant for children. Oh, it's children's classroom paint. But it didn't say children's classroom paint on it. Uh, I tell you, if I was a child, I'd be really disappointed. So it's not artist grade. It was crap. It's classroom, student grade. It was awful. Not even probably student grade. It was like toddler's paint. Right. They still, they still took me money, though. Well, of course they did. So I threw it away in a peak of... Uh, yes. So the Reeves um, paints are pigment rich. They're very pigment rich. Um, metallic pigment rich. They are. Um, I don't actually know whether or not Reeves have been bought out. I thought they had, but they're owned by another company. Now. Okay, so I've done the edges. I'm just going to put it on top of there. Oh, it's going to float, is it? It's going to float. And so I want to paint the reinforcer. Yes. So I'm just going to paint Not that, that it needs reinforcing, but it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. It looks very good. And just pop it on the paper there and then just give it a quick bounce. bounce. Yeah, we love that word. Uh, people ask me how I get the effect on the machines of, of beaten copper. I just use the sp sponge daubers, are they, Mike? Yes. They called? Well, the ink blending foams. Ink blending they? foams. But they're brilliant for spouncing. Spouncing. I love that word. And I've got a little MDF cog. I'm just going to paint the outside. What I do with these, I only ever paint the outside and the tops. I never go into the insides. Well, they're burnt out. They're black anyway. Yeah. So. Well, it just looks. It just looks. Well, they're in shadow anyway. Yeah, but it looks awful if you try and paint it because mm. generally it runs. I try not to use a brush with this because. Well, it's not a very liquid one, is it? It is actually quite. It's a thickish paint. Oh yes. It's not heavy body, but it's. You know, if you lifted that plate up, it wouldn't run. It can go anywhere. Yeah, no. So it's 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 got it's very juicy paint. I try never to put water in it when I use it. Yeah. Because you get fantastic coverage. And that's what we want. We don't have to paint it two or three times because that's boring. So neat. Yes, neat. Copper on the rocks. Depends if you spill it. Yeah. Um It's not neat if it's on the rocks, is it? No, it's true. So I'll show up. Yeah. Uh, that's that one, and I'll just go over the top with that, and you get that lovely, marvelous, that kind of beaten copper. That lovely beaten copper. Many cases when you paint Hold stuff, it still. 
There you go. Many cases <laughs> when you paint stuff with brushes, it looks like it's MDF painted with the brush. Because you've got the brush marks yeah. in it. But by using the spouncer, it's stippled, so the brush marks disappear. Because people have said to me, are they a metal? How do you do the metal? It's not metal, it's just paint. Yes. So right, I'm going to let those dry for two minutes and we'll be back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. Poor donkey. Poor donkey. Okay, so all my bits are dry. Edges. Edges. All my edges. And me cog. And me. Me cog. Me cog. Mike is uh, shaking up some alcohol inks. I'm making cocktails, really. It isn't really. It's a bit too early for a strawberry daiquiri. Or is it? <laughs> I've been onto the computator and I've printed out some images that I want to use. These are, uh, it's like a steampunk version of Don Quixote, I believe. That's what it's called. Rather lovely, aren't they? They are, aren't they? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out and stick them onto a, a piece of mount board. That's the... So are you, sorry, are you cutting them out of the mount board? Or yes. are you cutting them out and then sticking them on the mount board? I'm cutting, I'm going to put some carrier uh, self-adhesive between. Right. And I'm going to cut them all out. Right, okay. So I will not bore you watching me cut out. Yes, so well you can you can do a little bit to start off. Do a little bit to start off with. So I've got myself an adhesive roll. Ah, there you go. There we are. It's a bit of a monster. A monster. It, it's not as bad as it was. At least I can pick this one up. When it arrived, <laughs> it took two hands to carry it. So I'll do. I'll just move my. It's cabinet. industrial. Um, it's just industrial mount, isn't it? It's what photographers and display people use to mount. So if you go in a store and you see an image on a board hanging from the ceiling or whatever, it's usually on foam board or yeah. it's called uh, Rhino Bond. And it's stuck on with this stuff. And this is two foot something long. You can get it eight foot wide. But it's just incredibly expensive. Yeah, incredibly heavy. It's yeah. supposed to go on the machine. That one roll cost us over £130. Yes, it did. But it's very good. I use it for all, we use, well, we both use it for all the journals. Everything you can think of. So by doing that, we rub it down. And it saves people, saves people, saves Mike and I messing about with glue. So that just goes on to there. It doesn't matter what side you have of the board you use, does it? Well, I'm le the reason I'm leaving the other side, because you will see part of the board. Ah, right, okay. So I want it to be a nice... Don't so it to look a mess. That gives me a clue as to what you're going to do with it then. Okay, so then, so that's the back. It looks right. all nice and tidy. Lovely. So you're now going to cut your characters out off yeah. that board. Hey, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to slice them up so right. it's, it's going to be easier. I hope that scalpel's very sharp. Believe me, it is. It's a brand new blade. Brand new, right, okay, because that's going to be tough. Cutting out of that mount board. So this mount board is the stuff you use for picture mounts. It is. Yeah. Available at most craft stores. Well, I think Joann's and Michael's have it. Yeah, they? we we get ours from the range here in the UK. We do, and it's all it's it's available in oh gosh, hundreds of different colours. Well, you can get it in hundreds of different colours. The range don't necessarily stock all the colours. No, they don't. When I went the other day, they had about four colours, and that was it. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what colour it is, because I use it for the sides of the machines. Yeah. Well, it's only because of lockdown they haven't been able to get the supplies. That's right. Right, so you cut in, should we go to fast forward or should we jump? I'll leave it up to you. Okie dokie. It's a little bit too ambitious with this card. <laughs> My hands are hurting. Right, okay. A bit too intricate for it to work on that card. No. You're so, still going to do it. Yeah. 
but but I'm going to put it on a 300 gram card instead of that thick mount board. So it's my own fault. I thought it would work, but we we all learn, don't we? Put that on well, there. Part, part of doing what we do is about quickly realizing it's not working, stopping, and then then going in a different direction. Isn't this it? is true. But you're not really going in a different direction. You're just doing it in a different going in way. the same direction. I'm just putting a slightly lighter weight. I mean, the wings are fine. The wings are really pleased with. Yes. Um, so what I'll do with that... I'll just... Oh, I took it to the table. There we are. <laughs> just put him on. It's one of those days today. There we are. So... It's called having a harassment. It is. Okay. And what I'll do... I'll just put the sticky off. You see, oh, look at that. That's much easier. Yeah. Should, while you're doing that, just do a quick look at it. Because you've got that's not rubbish, is it? No. That bit there. That bit's not rubbish. That bit's not rubbish. That is. I'll get out your hair in a second. Where's the other one that says there's one of these missing? I've just given you it. No, you haven't. You didn't give me anything. It's there. Yeah. See, this is why it's a good idea to tidy up. It is. This is very true. I'm also going to swap blades again because I've taken the end off that blade. Right. I'll just move those over there. Well, you know where I keep them. I do. People cringe when I put the blades in, but you've, you've just got to hold it and push. Yes. You don't get your fingers in the way, you're okay. Okay, so we're back again. So I'm just going to. What happened to the other one? They're both there. Ah, right. Okay. I'll put them over there. Because so we, we have a special place for sharp objects. Yeah, sharp objects jar, yeah. Okay, so I mean, it's going to be much easier this because it's just. I've changed my blade. There we go. Right, we'll skip on to fast forward again then. Yes. Ah. And the final bit. And the final bit. So, took a while. <laughs> Intricate cutting out always does. That's yes. what you call real meticulous fussy cutting. I'm just get rid of this little piece that's sticking through here. It's annoying me. There we are. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay. So I'm not sure whether to go on the edge. I think I will. Is it distressing? Did you just nearly fall off I the chair? I fall off the chair, yeah. So I'm just going to do the edges. Just give it a little. You could either do with the foam or you could go around it with a pen. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the foam because I like the brown. But yeah, you could. No, I meant vintage photo distressing pen. Oh, sorry. Yes, I could, couldn't I? I thought of that. Mm. I'll use this. I might, I might use it in a minute if I've got to do something I can't get into. Well, let me find it for you. Thank you very much indeed. By finding it, I mean just reach over and get it. Oh. As soon as I know exactly where it is. There you go. Thank you very much. The, the brush tip one is fairly juicy because I did revitalise it. Oh, so did you? Ago, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll probably use that for between his legs, pardon the expression. It just tells to dis to, to dis dis disguise. It just finishes that it. White. Yeah, it does. Unless you've made a mess of cutting it out, like doesn't I really, have. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Well, I wouldn't have said you've made a mess. It's actually been fairly tidy. It's just when you yeah, if you try and get into that space between his legs, you won't be able to do it or around the feather or the inside no. of his arm. We'll probably Whereas come using off. the vintage photo pen. I can. Yes. Right, so that's the outside. Done. Have we missed anywhere? A bit of light there. Just the bits on the inside. Just the bits on the inside. So put that on there. We get told off if I leave the top off. Yes. So that's there we are. So I just It's quite dry, Mike. It's bone dry in fact. It's not bone dry. It's not. I'll use my I'll use this. Up again. I think so, yeah. I may have to revitalise the nib again then. It's okay. Sorted. <coughs> I'll do it in a minute. Yes. Just taking the end off, look. <laughs> Put a couple of droplets of your re in there. It works the trick. 
Okay, let me just persuade that to go through from the back maybe. Yeah, it's doing yeah, it. Yeah, it is. You're not going to see this, the back of it anyway. No. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice, <laughs> nice cut out actually. There we go. There we are. Potential problem averted. averted. So we've got the gentleman and we've got his wings. What I'm going to do with the wings, if you notice I've not cut these bits out because he actually sits on top of the wings. Like right, that. so you're not going to see them anyway. So you're not going to see them anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to distress around the edges and then I'm just going to borrow a pen of you. If you've got a yellow ochre type pen or pencil, we can just colour those in. So I think... Pencil. A pencil or a felt pen or a marker uh, pen. Pencil probably would be a bit more gentle. Yeah, I think a, a pencil then, yeah. Um, I have got an India ink pen, but that might be a bit too intense. Mm, we'll, have a, we'll have a look. It's just that the pencils are a bit more genteel. Yes, they are, yeah. Because there's no point trying to cut out, because it's not going to work to try and cut out. There you are. I'll give you two. Pale orange Oop. and <coughs> yellow ochre. Okay. Thank you very much. So they're my Derwent colour soft pencils. Can I buy and you those? short and out I've got me. Can I buy you those? And possibly. On the NEC? Possibly in the distant past. Yes. There we are. Just missed a little bit there. Dog's walking around this afternoon. Lost. It's lost, yes, bless him. It's been raining constantly for the past few days. And we get out when we can. Yeah. But he doesn't like it. And he's just jumped back on the bed. As it's just a bit much for him this yeah. afternoon. <laughs> Facing away from the door. Oh, we obviously disgusted him. Disgusted him this afternoon. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, nearly that. So I was saying you'd, I wouldn't bother trying to cut out the tiny pieces between. It's not worth it. I need to colour them in a, a similar colour to what the background's going to be and it's going to disappear, isn't it, Mike? Yeah. There we go. There we are. There we are. Cool. Cool. Okay, so I just want to colour in there. So that's the yellow ochre, so okay. just gently. Oh, I think that's going to be perfect. Yeah. Just nice and soft. It is very soft. You can always add a little bit of um, variation just by adding a, a very thin line of the orange, maybe. But you're not going to see see any anymore you're not going to see this anyway but I'll just colour it in regardless do to do to we watched Bob Ross the other night didn't we? We did watch a Bob Ross. What a brilliant man. <laughs> what a lovely man as well by the sound yeah, of it. Didn't realise he was so young when he passed. Neither was I. He's actually younger than me. Most people are younger than you. Charming. There we go. See that's not that's that's going to look good on there. Yes, it probably will. So I'll just take your word for it. A little bit. Seems I have no idea what you're doing. Uh, well, I sort of know what you're doing now, but yeah. Let's give it around the edge just a little bit of a. Okay, I'll put these pencils just, away. Thanks, Mike. Much appreciated. Muchas appreciados. Much appreciados. Yes, I think that might be Spanish. Maybe not. <laughs> Spanglish. Spanglish. Yes. Like Chinglish. No. Chinese and English. That's what instructions come from written in from China. It is, yeah, Chinglish. It's just, it's just, it's just great. I mean, tell us that at least they can speak some English, and I can't speak any Chinese. Well, so. that's it. Okay, so we've got the bits now. Okay, so the fun bit is to come. Oh, I've missed a bit, Mike. I've missed that bit to cut out on the, the mount board. You've got the edge to do. On the um, other one as well. On the other one, yeah. yeah, I'll just do these quickly. Do you want me to do that while you're no, it's cutting fine. that out? It's fine. Okay. Honestly, it's fine. And because uh, we're now entering new territory in a minute, because I'm going to use 
an embossing folder. Dun, 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 dun. I have used them before, numerous times. Just a little bit of interesting. I'm just never in one of these projects. Never in one of these projects. Years ago in our previous life, we used them all the time. Yes. There we are. It's not something that you would normally use in a, a mixed media kind of art journal. Embossing folders don't really get used that much. It's a nice change then. Well, yeah, I think when I mean, if you're doing a, a texture piece. Okay, so that's those. Right. What I've, what I've been through and I've found in my stash. Yeah, just before you do that, can yes. you just pop a, a top on that scalpel, please? Oh, yeah. I have visions. Yeah. And I'm not taking it to ER. Yeah, it's a Yes. So you detect your fade. Yes. And I didn't realise how blooming thick they are. Yes, they're extremely, extremely thick. So, what I've got is some mirror board. Mm hmm. I'm going to put the mirror board on top. Yes. I originally was going to do it that way, then I thought if I do it this way, there's a little bit. We're not wasting as much, are we? Really? Well, waste is such a relative term. Yes. You don't really waste anything. Well. Right, so if I remember what you told me last time. Mm -hmm. I need to spray, smooth the back of this with a little bit of water. Yes, because you can't spray the front. With it being mirrored. Apparently when you do this it stretches the fibres of the car. It softens the fibres and because you've got such a, if it's an ordinary embossing folder it doesn't matter so much. Yeah. But because this is an extra deep 3D embossing folder having that water soak in a little bit allows the fibres to soften and you don't get tears. Right. In the car okay. stock. So into that, like, oops, well it folds a little bit, I think I've got it cut, cut, it cut into the... Into the edge. Into the edge. Okay, one plate only, it said, on the instructions. And... I know, it's a tough one. Uh, go on, go for it, kid. Go on. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm exhausted now. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Yes. This Fantastic. is all a bit too brassy, but we're going to do something with that. Yes. Yeah. Right, so you keep saying. I'll just put that through in there, out the way. May I spray heat on a second just to uh, give this a flash dry? Thank you. Scalpel, heat gun, forceps. Oh no. No, we're not having a baby. Our oh, baby's just leave. A baby. A baby. Right, okay. Perfect. Thank you, my assistant. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim down along the line so we don't have any flatness. Any flatness anywhere. We don't need all of this because, in true, in true fashion. Thank you very much, Mike. I have done two already, so I now have three. Marvelous. Okay. So I'm going to just put that away. Out of the way. See, the only reason I keep the cover is she know what it is. Is so I can do that. And this is what I'm using. Yes. And quite rightly too. <laughs> okay, so let's get our oh before we do we need to put some sticky on the back of the embossing back in with the dum. <clears throat> oh yeah. There's the edge. There's the edge. So it's all white on white, isn't it? So it's, it's quite difficult to see. So we'll do like a steampunk white party, but not. But not. One, two. Will it? Will it or won't it? Mm, yeah, I think it will because we don't need it all. Well, you could always just add a little bit on there anyway. So. Couldn't you? I could. Thank you very much, Mike. You need strong. No. It needs to be heavyweight wrestlers for that. Pick that lot up. One. Two. Okay, what I'm going to do is just lightly. Give it a rub. Because you know, there is no point rubbing hard on the back because you'll push all the stuff out of the front. <laughs> I know because I've done that before myself. 
these are my nails. There we are. Do there you go. I think you've got to push pretty hard to um, to push the embossing. Well, this is very, very, very thick embossing. Mm. Okay, and then all we're going to do is we'll slice down between. So we cut the edge off. One. And two. Thank you, Mike. We're not worried about the edges. Not worried about the edges at all. It's just the long sides we need to make sure we cut properly. Okay. I'm sure there's a reason for that. There is. I may even share it with you in a minute. Okay. I'm intrigued. Intrigued. Lead. And that's the one that's got part of it on. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So. What we're going to do. Yep. We've got our. One well, gonna yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter which side you use because the side that we don't use, I'm going to paint copper okay. when I finish. All right. So we'll start at the top. And we'll work our way down. Oh. Actually, that's 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 at a very 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 funny angle. That's the one I want. My tummy is rumbling, and I don't I know, know why. It's usually man that does that. Yeah, because the rumbly tumblies normally. So I'll go on to there. Uh, a hyperactive something. Rumbly, what do they call it? That's better. The muscles in your stomach. I want to say something, but I don't think it's that. Right, so that one goes on there, like that. <laughs> So it's now it's now nice, nicely layering up. Pretty good. And then the last bit, we're not bothered about the bit at the top. No, of course not. Plenty. Because that just goes on to on there, there like that. Marvellous. Okay, so what we need to do then, even that with our scalpel, is just to trim, excuse the head. Yeah. Okay. Without without getting burns on your cut your fingers, I just run my nail just to burnish it on. Okay. Just be careful you don't get cuts on your fingers with it. You know, paper cuts because they are the worst kind. Yeah. Japanese water torture, nothing. Mm -hmm. Paper cuts, ow. There we are. Can I give you those, mate, please. Then just round that. Okay. One. When you've done that, I think it may be time just for us to have a quick break yeah. and go put the kettle on. I think so, because we've now got to work out we're going to distress it all, because this is just a bit too brassy. Yes, time for a natural break. It is. While you're away, I shall put the hole out there. Okay. Okay, back in a moment. See you in a little while. Well, he's got his coffee. Yes. Had coffee break. And I've painted the back of the tag in copper while you're away. Excellent stuff. Just that's it. Show them that lovely shine. And then flip it over. And even more shiny. So what I'm going to do before we start, I'm just going to go over the edges with a little bit of distressing just to disguise the white edge. Oh, okay. Just on that white just edge of the, white the, um, the, the, yeah. the gold. Yeah, just the white edge of the gold. And then... It's new territory for me, so I'm going to have to be... <laughs> You're going to use a material you've not used before. Well, I have, when I did that box. Remember when I made that box, the um, treasure box? No. The one with the, the octopus on top. Oh, yeah, God, that was, that was years and years it and was. years and years ago. It was, it was three years ago. You, you've never done it on camera, though, have you? No. No. So, okay. So, we're going to be using... Distressing, no, not distressing, uh, alcohol inks. Excellent. So I want to give it, it's, it's too brassy. It's far too brassy. Yeah. I'm not one for distressing, but I like if it's not, it doesn't want to be too brassy. No. Too brassy is not good. Okay. Okay, so what do we do then, Mike? Okay, well, first of all, you choose your colours. Okay, well, we've got hazelnut. Yes. And I think latte. Mm -hmm. Latte. Latte. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll use those to start with. Okay. There is... A greeny willow. There is also a darker green pesto. Yeah. And if you want some kind of verdigris 
almost looking stuff. Yeah. Then we have pool. Okay, so well, how do we start then, Mike? Well, well, first of all, you, you take your, um, your, your felt. Yeah. All right. Um, that's the last one. Well, I'll use this one then. All right, so if you're going to use like green, use this one for Yeah, green. but I'm going to use brown. So. Right, so you take the bottle of your alcohol hinks. Yeah. Give them a shake. Yeah. A really, really good shake. Yeah. Just take that old price tag off. Mm. And, go, and then you put a few drops on the felt. Keep going. Do a little bit of squeeze. Did you just shake it up? Yeah. Right. Okay. And then you turn it over. Yeah. And then you start dabbing onto your copper. Onto your copper, onto your... There you go. And you see the corner? Oh, yeah. It's started to go a rusty colour now. That light here wanted checking up a bit more. It goes quite a long... Oh, it smells nice. It does. It got, well, it's alcohol. Ooh. Cheers, my dears. It's alcohol, ain't it? <laughs> so adding that, um, the latte, to gold mm -hmm. turns it copperish. Because you've got that browny colour. Yeah. Um, darker colour, obviously the hazelnut's a little bit darker, so you could add a little bit more um, detail in that if you wanted to. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can see the colour change. Yeah, that's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Then I'll put a bit of the latte on. The, no, the latte is what you just use. Hazelnut. I'll give it a really, really good shake just to make sure that all the pigments are mixed in with the alcohol it in there. Smells ever seen it. Oh, I've got it over my hands. It's alright, it'll wash off. I'll just get a, a baby wipe. That won't help. Will it not? Well, it's you're using water for alcohol. It's not water though, is it, in, in baby wipes? Yes, these are. They're oh, is paraben it? free. Oh, it's yeah. fine, it'll wash off. We've got some alcohol. We have. Um, okay. There's a, a, one of those spray bottles. That should have alcohol in it. Like that? Yeah, exactly the okay. same. And then I'd start off on the, the side color. first because it is darker. Yeah, can you see? Yes, I can. Well, it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, Mike. Well, it's. I can see the difference. <laughs> you see now where you've gone over the top of the existing alcohol, can you see it's starting to create cells? Yeah. Because what it does, instead of going over the top, it pushes the existing colour out of the way. Oh! So you get those lovely kind of wrinkly cell. I like that. Should we have a... Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. You get some really, really cool effects. Let's put it up there. I'll put the top back on the, um, the hazelnut. Okay. And try and find that bottle of alcohol. Because it was there. Ah, no, it's over there. It's all right. No, it's, it's no fine. big deal. I, I went to refill it the other day. Ah. That'll wash your hands. Okay, well, I'll wash them later. So, if I want to put a little bit of green on. Okay. Let me just have a quick look to see what I've got. Oh, this is our green pad, is it? Yeah, you, you can use the green pad, it's fine. So... That's just got some mucky brown colour on it. And there's one down at the bottom here that's got red on it, which looks like an old bandage. Willow or pesto, mate? What do you reckon? Um, The pesto is darker green. Yep. The willow is a lot lighter green. We'll go darker then. Not the lightest green I've got, because I have actually got a um, a citrus one. But I have to say these alcohol inks are probably um, well, they are older than Bentley. Oh, well, they are, yeah. Mm. Some of these alcohol inks are over ten years old. So just just yeah, just oh, add on to it. Yeah. So you, don't, you don't want a lot of the green, do you? No. I mean, you're basically wanting to um, disguise the gold. So go into areas where you can still see the brassiness of the gold. And look at that. And of course, if you add a little bit of the blue afterwards. Which we will do. Oh, look, 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 look. You can see those cells starting OMG. to OMG. Look at that. I like that. How beautiful is that? I like that. Mr Bentley's not impressed. Mr Bentley's gone downstairs because yeah. the sun's come out and he thinks it's that time. And it isn't that time. No. Okay, so, but that's already got the dark green on it. It's fine. You can still use... You can still put the, the pool so I'll just, on So I'll just get rid of a bit of it on there. Yeah, but just use the wet wipe. Just okay. push down the wet wipe. That's it. And that'll bring most of it out. Ah, yeah. But don't forget the alcohol just pushes it out of the way anyway. Yes, it does, of course, yeah. So if you want to use some of the pool, just put the pool onto there. That's the pool. That's pool, isn't it? Yeah. Give it a good, really good shake. <laughs> oh, 
Maybe we won't be using pull we after will, all. We will. We, we will. won't. We will. We will. I just must have. I must have loosened it. Ow! <laughs> Poor old dear, I am. There you go. Give it a good squirt. There you go. Would you put the top? I on? will. Please, thank you very much. And then that's. Oh, oh! Look at that colour in the corner. Yeah. Think about where you're going to be placing your focal point, and then yeah. add that sort of colour. Around. Yeah. And if you, it starts to look as though you're not getting the full effect, you can theoretically, if you want to, actually add droplets onto it. So directly from the bottle. No, this is, this is apt. Oh, I'm loving that. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that, Mike. Do, do we have to dry it before we go any further? Um, pretty much, no. Um, it'll be drying about... Now. Yeah. Yeah, give it a take. Give it a take a, a minute. Yeah. But if you okay. want to, you can just quickly just quick, give it a, a quick blast over with the gun. Yeah, but not a big one. No. Don't work the damn thing. This looks lovely. The inexpensive mirror board turned into something looking completely different. Try? Nearly. Yeah. Okay, okay enough. Okay, so. We now have I do think Mr. Bentley Bobs wants to go for wee wee. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to just let him out and I'll just position these? Okay, then? You, you audition those. I'll, what does that mean? Oh, to offer, offer them up. Yes, yeah. of course, I forgot the word audition. That's where it comes from, apparently. Right, so that's going to oh. go on there. And then he has to stand on There's top. There's downstairs for no reason whatsoever. Why? He's curled up in his bed in the sunshine. Oh, well, there There's we like go. a shaft of sunlight coming through the, um, the windows in the kitchen and he's in his bed. Yeah, and that goes on there, so that's that one goes there. Mm -hmm. well, just making sure everything fits. You, you could add the alcohol ink to that if you want to, just to take that copperiness away from it. Mm, that's a good idea. That's the that one, isn't it? That's the brown. Yeah, yeah, just dagged it up a little bit. Ooh, yeah, and if you wanted to add a little bit of the blue to it, you've still got some left on the um. I like that. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm actually going to cut this a bit shorter. I don't need... I was going to put... Um, you have to go on the edge again, yet. There we are. Okay, so... Do we have... So do we have the, the fantastic glue? Which fantastic glue? Would you... Um, what what's you the accents? Where you, you left Would it? Would you just grab it, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we'll do to start with, I'll just add a little bit of glossy accent. Do it in camera so people can see right. you doing it. Sorry. That none's come out. The thing is there, look, the pokey tool. Pokey tool, yeah. Just be careful because the, um, the point now does come off. There we go. Okay. That's better. Oops. <laughs> Excuse my head, I'm just going to move it off a second so I can just make sure I've got it in the right way. You see the top of my head? Yeah. Fine head of See the little pygmies living in your hair. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go onto that. Mm hmm. So again, onto the back of your quote. Yep, the top half. Indulge your imagination. Mm hmm. Just move this paper out of the way. Who doesn't know that? Yeah. Okay. That was the backing off the um, off the self adhesive sheet. It was good okay. idea not to throw them away because they do act like a waterproof. Well, it is waterproof, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's, it's got a, a plastic coating on it. And then that one goes at the bottom. Like that. We did actually see those sheets being used for a, a craft on the TV. That's something we'd we never did. seen before the other day. We did. <coughs> done by a lady called Angel Strawbridge. Um, yeah, they, they run, there's a program called The Sketch of the Chateau in the UK. And Angel and Dick, Dick Strawbridge is, was on Scrappy Challenge with a friend of ours, John, um, years and years ago, wasn't he? And he's, he's actually a... Um, he's an ex-army sergeant, colonel, major, something Ma like that. Colonel. But he was um, bomb disposal and royal engineers. 
Yeah, so the, now he's, he runs, he has a, a bar chateau, hasn't he? It's a huge chateau in France, and they do like a, they're renovating it, and it's like a renovation programme, but they also do a lot of craft. Yes, they do. Which is really interesting to watch. Something like that. I can slide it because it's got the glossy accents on it. Let's make sure that's level. I think so. Yes, and Angel used one of those sheets for transferring a photograph onto wood. She did. Without using any paper at all. Which was a, a bit like witchcraft for us, wasn't it? It was actually, <laughs> yeah. Like, Ooh! Clever. The silence is definitely... It is, isn't it? I'm sorry I'm quiet when I'm just trying to think about what I'm doing. You're going to get him to stand on the end, the, the... Yeah. That's cool. So, we can just, just see the rocket pack just there. Yeah. Are you going to just pop a, a tiny bead of glossy accents just under his heel, just so yes, it I does hold so. on? I think so, yeah. And his knees. Just bring him down just a front. Oh, no, no, I think it's fine. Yeah, you just, okay. just a tiny, tiny beak will just hold that foot in place. And then a little bit on the other foot. Oh dear. If I would have left it, you wouldn't have seen it. It would have just dried solid. Yeah, I'll just, get, just push that there. That's out of the way there. Right, so now we've done all that, so we've tidy up. What are you going to do with the cog? I'm going to put the cog um, up around. Is that the right one or are you using the dry one? I'm using that one and I'm going to put that over there. Marvellous. So are we going to feed anything through it or...? No, it's so you can hang it on there. Uh... Oh, like on a... On a... Yeah, and a little hook or something, or a bit of ribbon. Could you get me, please, from the bookcase, the brand new bottle of glossy accents, please? Um, yes. I didn't know you had a brand new bottle of glossy accents. Ah, you do now. <coughs> right. So what I'm going to do with this. Could you do that, please? Thank you. What I'm going to do, I'll just put the top back on that. That's the old one. That's got a big nozzle on it. So it's mine. It's Mike's, yeah. Mm. So I'm going to use some three, this is from a company called Crafty Critters in the UK, three millimeter flat back pearls. Right, and these are the bronze colored ones. These are the co dark coffee, they're called. Don't, sn don't sneeze when you're doing this. <laughs> You just have to knock them about like that. What's that for? I'm going to put some three some three dimensional. No, no, why do you knock them about? Because then they stay they, they go flat backed. If you don't knock them, they stay upright like those. Right. So it's to get them to turn onto the back, so yeah. they're easy to pick up. That's right. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do? I want to put some little bits of detail onto the wings. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Mm-hmm. And I put my hand in them. And they're all stuck on your hand, yes. Not now that I've got those off. You can just one there, look towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. One. You couldn't do it without this picky up at all. I mean this is I've had this years, you can see it's it's, it's very poorly. <laughs> and look we, at the that's supposed to be a point. Yes. We are memory keepers. They Pick are up tool. Brilliant. I put the. I use these because I put all these little rivets on my machines. Yeah, I don't know whether they're still making them, but that's who made this one. But we did manage to get one for Dad, didn't we? To, or to do his plants with. Yeah. Yeah. Dad uses one to um, when he's putting his seeds, tiny little seeds into um, into his seed trays. Okay, and then again. So we go. Making sure I put them in the right place. Mm -hmm. One, so we can see. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. That's it, I think. That is, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. And just those. It's supposed to have like blue tack in the end of it, but it uh, it died years ago. Now it runs on. It dried up. Yeah. Oh, it's two there. Like conjoined twins. Yes. No. Because it's not politically correct to say Siamese twins anymore. Apparently not. There we are. Just saying. Mm. And one more. What's there? You've got one underneath. Underneath there. Got two underneath there. All right. Just put this. Pick those up. Just put one down there. I'll just pick these up and put them back in the little little plastic box, and then I can put them back in the bag later. The strawberries just stick everywhere. They do. Right, so let's get that out of the way, please, Mike. Thank you. So there we have a little wall hanging. Indulge your imagination, and the sky's the limit. I'm pleased with that. Mm. I love the effect on the gold, and of course you still get that shine coming through the back. Yeah. We do, have we done or are we doing the uh, draw for the journal from last week? We will do the draw as soon as we've finished with this. Have we finished with this now? We have. Right, well in that case then we'll move over to our other computer. Okay, so this is the video that we set the draw for the little mini journal that you created using the ephemera on this one. Yes. So to do the random comment picker, yeah. we have to grab the URL. So we'll copy the URL for that video. We'll jump across to the YouTube comment picker, YouTube random comment picker, and we'll paste in the URL. We'll click on filter duplicate user so it gives everybody a chance. Yeah, fair chance. A fair chance. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just click on get YouTube comments. So 68 of those, and then we then click on the word start and that will choose one of those 68 comments. Okay, okay. Ready? Yeah. So do, 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 do. That's clever. I know. There you go. Lisa. So, winner, Lisa Deal. Fantastic. So Lisa, if you can contact us, or either email me for, through YouTube or through my website or even through Ian's website to grab your address I think we probably already have it. I think I have Lisa's address already. Yeah. Just double check. Then we will make sure we get that journal posted out to you. Congratulations, Lisa. Sorry, everybody, that didn't win. But next time, you never know. <laughs> well done, Lisa. Indeed. I have something great for you next week, for next Tuesday. Butterfly ball. If you love flowers and you like butterflies, you'll adore the butterfly ball. Sounds amazing. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. It is. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for, for now. now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you. <laughs>